All right, everyone, this is my dad, Mr. Samuel Strange, the man who taught me everything I know and gave me all these wonderful power tools. What do you have to say? Uh, she's doing a good job. I hope she'll make things for me. <laughs> yeah, Thank I will. You. All right. Bye -bye. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs>
people will see that. So this is the bad side. And I wish I used the nice side right here. But I didn't, and it's too late now. But that's my only issue with this leg. And the other issue I have is this. Apparently, warped wood is so awful, and this is kind of, it's kind of like a ramp now. <laughs> so if anything went, you can just kind of use this as a ramp. It's a little bent. But um, for the most part, um, it's pretty, it's nice. It looks good. It's sturdy. Um, it is leveled, mostly leveled. <laughs> um, I did add a few braces right here for this little cubby hole. This way, um, if I put like a coffee mug or some other stuff in here, it won't just, you know, fling out or fly out and fall down. Um, there will be baskets right here. So hopefully that will keep that in. And it's so it's nothing decorative. It's just more for, um, you know, to secure items that are going to be down in here. But yeah, so here it is. That is the Butcher Block Island so far. Uh, next, I'm going to be adding um, this part right here down to the bottom um, to make it more uniformed. And then I'm not going to add anything here as of right now because I think it just be I think it'd be just too much. So we're going to stick with putting that down here. And then we can do all the painting. But first, I need to cut the wood and get this all taken care of. So stay tuned. Thanks. Okay, back to work. So that was fun. 
But let me show you what I did and what I'm not happy with because I am not a great builder. So here you go. I got a little gap all the way down. And then a big gap right here. And a big gap right here. So that didn't make me happy. But this looks good. So if I have to use this as a f push up against the wall, this will be the front. Okay, back to building. Okay, so I um, have a little dilemma here. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to be able to attach the top to the base because I can't get my drill here to do the um, pocket holes. I should have done the pocket holes before I added this bottom shelf, this top shelf, but you live, you learn. Too late to change it. Can't knock this shelf out. So. I'm trying to look to see how I can attach this and it's not looking good. I'm definitely not going to drill from the top so I'm going to pause this portion of this build so I can refigure this out. So on to the next step.
Okay, so this is Henry. He is my quality control inspector of this build, and I think he approves. He's been sitting here for a while now, looking over everything, and I think he's happy. So, in a second, we are going to show you the finished product. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, what can I say? This build was frustrating and fun all at the same time, and now it is actually done. Um, I've learned a lot. I learned the do's and don'ts, and I can't wait for my next build. I think my next build will actually be teak wood table for outside. Um, I have a slab of teak wood sitting over there eyeballing me right now, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and actually build something again. So, um, like I said, um, this build was frustrating, fun, but now it's over, and I can't wait to share with you my Franken table. All right, everyone, here it is the Butcher Block Rolling Island that I've been building, and I think it turned out awesome. The white color that we chose is called coconut milk, and I think that was a perfect color to go with the lighter butcher block top. Um, the white has a little bit of a gray tint to it. You can't really tell because not all whites are exactly the same, but this white is called coconut milk, and it's from a brand called Easy Care that I got at my local True Value down the road. And again, it just, I think the white was a great choice for this butcher block top. Um, the top, the light blonde um, honey colors, it's just gorgeous. It really is. Um, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm liking it. Now, yes, do I wish I had a darker color? Yes, but this is perfect, especially for my kitchen right now because my kitchen's kind of, it's kind of dark, doesn't get that much light in it. So this piece will brighten up the room a little bit and I'm very excited about that. Um, the baskets, the sweet grass baskets that I, re I got, um, I kind of built the table around these baskets and I think it turned out really awesome. I can access these um, in the front and in the back. This little cubby hole, I can put um, some other goodies in there. It's my dog, Ozzy. And the caster wheels, it they're perfect. I love it. This table moves perfectly. Um, it's kind of noisy in the garage because the garage floor isn't smooth, but it'll be perfect in the, in the kitchen. Um, all wheels lock, so if I want it stationary and nothing for it to move, I can do that as well, or I can just move it around wherever I need it. Again, this table, it's, I mean, it looks like something you could purchase in a store, and I'm very excited that it turned out really well without having any instructions or a diagram or anything to go by, and just kind of building it as I, as I went, so... Yeah, I'm very happy with it, and I hope you guys are too. Um, if you liked if you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will put a link on the video so you can go back and go watch it, and then you could put both one and two together and enjoy. Um, I'm actually very excited about my next build. Um, I think I am going to do the teak wood table, um, which the teak wood table is right here so i'm super excited about that but here it is my butcher block rolling island and again please like subscribe leave a comment hit that notification bell for the next video and um yeah thank you for being here and thank you for supporting this channel have a great day